Hello! So, free energy devices. Do they exist? Do they sell them on Amazon for 10 bucks? Yes, of course they exist. Have you ever seen the Teletubbies? How do you think that weird vacuum thing gets around? So this week I'm kind of in between videos. I have some parts coming in the mail for my coil gun. So I thought I'd make a video about these majestic mother I mean, you put in, what, 6 to 12 volts on the input and it outputs 400,000 volts? I mean, it's insane. So I just thought I'd break this thing down and really get to the bottom of this thing and maybe even find out why they break all the time. So, roll the intro, please. I mean, the only reason that I'm calling this a free energy device is because that's kind of what it's advertised as. 400 kilovolts, 400 kilovolts, 800 to 1,000 kilovolts. Oh, and it's only eight bucks and you only have to input three to six volts. That's nuts. I mean, this thing must be magical. So let's just pick the first one that comes up. 400 kilovolts. Wow. Voltage can get 200,000 volts. That's not 400 kilovolts, people. Voltage can get 200,000 volts. DC high voltage, about one to two centimeter arc. See right there, that's a problem. Red flag. So at one centimeter, air breaks down at 30,000 volts. So if it's one to two centimeters, that's 30 to 60,000 volts. Okay, six to 12 volts to 80 kilovolts. That's not a crazy assumption like the thousand kilovolts I saw earlier, but does it have the specs? Output voltage and current about 80 kilovolts at 0.5 amps. And there is the lie. So, this thing is saying that the input voltage can be 6 to 12 volts at a current of 0.5 to 2 amps. So if we do our power equation, 12 times 2 is 24, 24 watts. And let's say we have 80 kilovolts times 0.5 amps, that equals 40 kilowatts. That is a free energy device right there. So yeah, these things are everywhere. This is, these things are all over Amazon. So this one is the one I bought a couple weeks ago. I used it for the Ionicraft video. Um, this one was a complete failure. But let's look at its output, see what kind of voltage it does. So 60 kilovolts, output voltage, output current 0.5 to 1 amp. Okay, let's see if this thing can do 60 kilovolts. So I've got this thing hooked up to 12 volts at 1 amp. So now let's test it out. I don't know if you heard that thing turn on, but it did not reach. Okay, so I'd say that's about, what, one inch? Let's try again. All right, let's turn the amps up on the input a little bit. 12 volts, two amps. Yeah, I'd say that was about half an inch. Okay, so we got about half an inch off this thing. What is, what the hell is half an inch? Hold on. I'm sorry I have to do this. I'm not European. I don't do centimeters. All right, so half an inch equals 1.27 centimeters. So that's what, 30 to 40 kilovolts in that ballpark? Okay. So this thing came pretty close to what it advertised, but definitely not the current. That is impossible because free energy does not exist. All right, let's see what the hell's inside here. Ugh. I don't know what that did. Okay, hold on. All right. Okay, I'm getting a saw. Oh, bro! 
brother, this guy stinks! Jesus, that got messy. So I finally got one of these things to open. It turns out they exclusively respond to brute force. So, here's what I realized when I opened this thing up. So there were two coils, one on the output and then one in the middle. And then there was this circuit, mystery circuit, on the input, which I'm guessing was some kind of inverter circuit because the input is DC and the output is AC. So I'm guessing the low voltage DC comes in, gets inverted into AC, and then goes through the primary of the transformer into the secondary of the transformer and then it outputs high voltage AC. But then again, that's just an educated guess. Let me know down in the comments if you know how this actually works, if this is an inverter circuit or not. But that's pretty much it for this video. I got through everything I wanted to get through, except for I really didn't say that free energy is not real. Free energy is fake. I mean, the first law of thermodynamics does not play around. So thanks for watching. Now.